Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back Hello everybody, welcome to the Graveyard Traveler Today's video is St. Joseph Cemetery Here in Highland Heights, Kentucky Without further ado, this tour starts, shall we? Oh, look at this one it says, Our Father who art in heaven, allowed by thy name The kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today and our daily bread. Forgive us for trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our angel on earth, God's angel in heaven. Look at that. She was born on this Daniel Marie Stephan, born October 19th, 1989, November 24th, 1990. Angel stone, some lanterns, and a little stuffed animals. Well, I got a little gem for her. Where am I gonna put this? Uh, put it right here by the little, little burger. Well, rest in peace to Danielle and my condolences to her family. Rest in peace. Hey, look at this headstone. Jesus right in the heart. Gaiman. And here says our family. Uh, Nicholas E. born October 14, 1982 to October 9, 2007. Yeah, I guess his nickname is Blackie. Sacred heart of Jesus, I place my trust in thee. Must be him with a military outfit. Or he's probably their son. Let's see what's on the back. Oh, poem. Jesus and Mary and Joseph. Matthew Camey, Nicholas Casey. Letting go. The angels gathered near our your side to very close to you. They knew the trials in you of life that go where you were going through. I thought about so many things as I held tightly to your hand. Oh how I wished that you were strong and happy once again. But your eyes were looking homeward to that place beyond the sky where Jesus held his outstretched arms. It was time to say goodbye. I struggled with my selfish thoughts for I wanted you to stay so we could walk and talk again like we did just yesterday. But Jesus knew the answer and I knew he loved you too so I gave you to your life's greatest gift the gift of letting go it says love you mom and dad well, rest in peace to Nicholas or Blackie he was called and I'll just put a gym down here I could donate this to his, his father, Nikki, and Lois. Rest in peace. James R. Clump, or Jim, January 30th, 1958. July 17th, 2009. A picture of a dog. It's like him fishing. And he's been a carpenter. I got a Jim. I'll put it up here. Right, rest in peace to James or Jim. Rest in peace. Uh, I know Christmas is gone, but they still have to decorate. So this is uh, Irvin and Hilda Gaiman. Uh, Irvin, born 1913 and 1969. And Hilda, 1917 to 1986. Look at that. I like when they etched into these headstones. Makes it pretty cool. Pretty uh, endearing. So I'll get two, 
two to this couple. One. Two, I don't know if that stays there. Hopefully it does. So rest in peace to Urban and Hilda Gaiman. Rest in peace. Alright. This is Stricter, Melvin and Hilda. Melvin, born February 3rd, 1923 to April 5th, 2009. U.S. Army Air Corps, Corporal Instrument Landing. And his wife, Helen, born May 11th, 1922, passed away February 24th, 2006. Both both wife and mother. They were married on October 5th, 1946. Get in the back. Let's children, Mary Ann, Kathleen, David, Patricia, Martha, and Janet. All right, I'll leave two gems for them. This for Melvin. And that's for Helen. So rest in peace to both Melvin and Helen Stricter. Rest in peace. Right, check the size of this headstone. This is David H. Meyer, born July 26, 1929. Best way, May 25th, 1975. His wife, his wife Mary Ann, still here with us. Uh, they were both married on August 29th, 1953. Their children married David, Teresa, Robert, Ken, Rosemary, and Richard. Another, uh, I think this is a Catholic cemetery. On the back it says, Ava Marie Gracia I have no idea. That must be Latin. Amen. I have no idea. I'll tell you what, somebody read Latin or whatever language this is, just hit the pause button and read it and leave a comment and see what this means. I know it says Amen. So. Right. Leave a gym for David. I'll say rest in peace to David. My condolences to his wife, Marianne. Or Marianna. Rest in peace. Now our son, Justin A. Saccone. He's born January 29, 1988. Passed away on September 21, 2003. It's been his baseball number when he's playing baseball. Look at this. Four balls and a glove. That's been here a while. On the back, I just said Saccone. So rock reads, when someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. And with that, I'm going to leave a gem for him. I say rest in peace to Justin and my condolences to his mother, father, and all his family. Rest in peace. Our being. Christy's life journey is daughter Christy R. Uh, around her picture it says Christy's life journey. Tracy, Sparky, and Spunky, Cousins, Corey, and Sam, family, friends. Thirsty. Uh, she's born December 17, 1978. Passed away on January 18, 2004. Seems like the back of the headstone. Looks like the family headstone. Oh, look at that. Because we remember Miss Barbian. I thought of you with love today, but that is nothing new. I thought about you yesterday and days before that too. I think of you in silence. I often speak your name. All I have are memories and your picture in a frame. Your memory is my keepsake with which I'll never part. God has you in his keeping. I have you in my heart. Love mom, dad, and friends. Well, rest in peace to Christy and I'll leave a gem for her right here. Rest in peace and my condolences to her sister Tracy, dad Robert, and mom Nancy. Rest in peace. Bill Ecker, September 20th, 1939, and March 26th, 2011, called him coach. This is the perfect play. Wife Joan's still with us, so I'm going to show her. Show her side of the head zone. It's on the back. We got the ball. It says Aker with a baseball diamond. And two bats behind us. All right, I'll put a gym for him. I'll say rest in peace to Bill Laker, or Coach. Rest in peace. Maniki, Jerome, and Rosemary. Jerome born July 25th, 1943 to December 6, 2008. And Rosemary born September 13th, 1952 to May 29th. 1996, both married October 13, 1979. And I like that pistol. Alright. 
Here's one for Jerome. One for Rosemary. Rest in peace to this couple. Jerome Ro Rosemary Funky. Rest in peace. Uh, Nathan R. Nelter, born October 5th, 1989. Passed away on January 24th, 1998. Wow, that's a big trailer. Give me a little trinket to see something back in the distance. Wow. He called me to stamp my fingers. But then I have a brown crown, so Johnny gave me one of his brown crowns. Johnny would chase girls. I like his great and funny stories, true or false. Johnny taught us that weeds are good. <laughs> Memories shared by Johnny's second grade classmate. Classmate. Give him a gym. And I'll say rest in peace to Jonathan and I. My condolences to his family and his second grade class. Rest in peace. I can't even wonder if I ever find a Marine here in the cemetery. This is Sean E. Neltzer. Neltner, October 14, 1975 to May 28, 2013. I like that right there. Maker. Nice setting of the uh, farmland with deer on the back. Picture of this man. He's a UK fan. Loving father of Renee, Kelly, Tori, Tyler, and Peyton. Daddy's girls. Also, he's a Marine, so let's look read what this says. It says, Hello, my name is Neil Antonio Ortez. I served with Nader in the United States Marine Corps. I'm so sorry, but I just found out about his passing. Nader was definitely a one-of-a-kind man. I had the privilege and honor of having fought by his side and drank with him as well. We had many, many great moments together in the herd. He was the tough guy with a true heart of gold. He held such a presence, too, that upon meeting him for the first time in Corps 1, could not help him. But... Take it easy on the guy, even though he has such a calm, click, and easy-going nature about him. We code name, we nicknamed him Debo, in big country. Boy, did he like to drink, laugh out loud. I truly hope you can give, forgive me for leaving this message a year later. But I have just barely started reconnecting with all of my brothers from the core. Unfortunately, I found my brother a bit late. My heart goes out to his family, especially his daughters. I know your father is in peace with the Lord, and I hope that you are at peace, knowing that he is with the angels now in heaven. God bless you all in my forever RIP big country. You will always be remembered by the pack of brothers, third herd. Love you, brother. I got a flag for him. I'm gonna put up here. I'll go give him a gym as well. I don't know what rank he was, but rest in peace to Marine Sean Neltner and Semper Fi. Rest in peace. Jean Marianne Gaiman, November 14, 1956. This is our hope to coach. Well, it's been a child infant. Probably just born and passed away. Well, rest in peace to Jean Marianne. Rest in peace. Catherine M. Hook. Ain't Bootsy, July 3rd, 1914 to April 10th, 1996. And this is a place to hold the flowers. Uh, the reason why I stopped is it's Ain't Bootsy. And I'll leave her gym. I'll say rest in peace to Catherine or Aunt Bootsy. Rest in peace. So this is William James Burst, born February 6th, 1956 to April 29, 2005. With his wife. Both married November 18th, 1978. This is Barbara. She's still with us. 25th wedding anniversary, 2003. I like that. This thing. Back. Yeah, it says Burst in the back of his one. Well, my uh, condolences to Barbara, his wife, and rest in peace to William. 
I'm gonna put a gem right here in front of this angel. Rest in peace. Uh, this grave is located right here by this woods on the highway. Uh, I'm gonna move this over. Decker still great right for Christmas, that's fine. Uh, Father Ralph L and his wife Virginia. Virginia Faye. Ralph born 1928 and passed away in 1999. His wife Virginia, 1932 to 1963. Well, I got two gems for him. One for one for Ralph. One for Virginia. And rest in peace for Ralph and Virginia Holtz. Rest in peace. Mooch. Frank and Emma. Frank born 1883, passed away in 1965. Wife Emma was born in 1887, passed away in 1971. Well, I got two gems for them, so I got one for Frank, one for Emma. And rest in peace to both Frank and Emma Mooch. Rest in peace. Harry Muss, 1917 to 1966. It says, Hail Mary Christmas. It says, Brother. I got a gem for him. Put it up here. Say rest in peace to Harry and yeah, Hail Mary and pray for us as well. Rest in peace. Fear, John, Matilda, and John M. the son. Oh, yeah, and daughter. Let's see. John, born 1840 to 1911. His wife, Matilda, born 1844 to 1904. Their son, born 1869, passed away in 1890. Daughters Mary and Anna Mary, born in 1878, passed away in 1896. And our other daughter Anna, born 1886 to 1908. All right, for this one, I got five. So, John, Matilda, I found John Jr., uh, Mary. And Anna. So rest in peace to the Fear family. Rest in peace. I gotta show this. You can barely read it. That's why somebody took the time to put this as Messimer. Down here is Father Peter. It's Peter. December 12, 1825 to September 16, 1908. His wife Maria, May 8, 1822 to January 7, 1894. This must be them here. I'll put two gems. I'll put them over here. Uh, this is from Peter. And it's done right off. Let's put it up here. Peter. And Maria. Rest in peace to Peter and Maria Messler. Rest in peace. Before I leave, this is the King of Kings. Have mercy on the soul of River. G. Kaufman, born 18 April 28, 1869, and ordained July 13, 1902, passed away on July 23, 1928. I'll leave a gem for him. Rest in peace to the King of Kings, Reverend Kaufman. Rest in peace. Oh, cross of Jesus, right here. It says this child is destined to be the downfall and the rise of many in Israel, a sign that will be opposed, and you yourself shall be pierced with the sword, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be laid bare. Luke 2 34 35. Oh, I'll put a gem here to commemorate this child. Amen. Well, this headstone it reads Maria Antonio Muse. I guess it was this. Uh, Muse. Lewis. She died on April 12th, 1893. It says, Be my love, be my salvation. Sweetest hearts. Of Mary, yeah, somebody's heart of Mary on that side. It says, "All raise and thanksgiving to be thy forever thine." And you can barely read it. 
So I'll leave the gym anyway. To Maria. Rest in peace. Well, this is Gaiman. John A. and Betty M. John born July 5th, 1922. Passed away September 17th, 1997. Betty born December 15th, 1930. Passed away November 19th, 2011. Now I'm gonna go around this corner and you're gonna see some really, really, uh, well, for some people might be terrifying, some people might be. Uh, yeah, he's alive. That's a gar snake. Right by a headstone. He's alive. I thought he was dead. He's, he's trying to stay warm. Okay. You think I'm back at the headstone? No, this is a game. Alright, well, I thought the snake was dead, but I think he was still trying to keep warm, so I'll tell you what, I'm not going to disturb him. I'll leave two gems. One for John. One for Betty. I wouldn't leave a gem for him, but he's still alive. So I'll say rest in peace to John and Betty Gaiman and uh, buddy I'm glad you're alive. I kicked you a little bit to make sure you're dead but you're not dead. So rest in peace to these two and uh, happy journey to the snake. Alright thanks for joining me on this latest Graveyard Traveler video tour. Take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones. I'll see you on the next video and rest in peace to everybody here in St. Joseph Center. Bye.